dog and you calm down. What are these? Holsters. You rub them? Oh, these are yours? Yeah. Oh, you just took them all off? Yeah, because then I'm not putting them in my room. Because I don't believe in any of this stuff. You <laughs> don't believe in no, one I'm, piece? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be an adult now. Look, I, uh, in anger, I ripped this almost all the <gasps> way, but not all the way. No! It wasn't when I was taking it off the wall. That's not when it happened. It's, it's uh, on purpose. I'm not like you anymore, Curtis. I'm just kidding. No, I didn't have room. What is he? But then after reading all that stuff afterwards that you wrote and what you're going to talk about now, there's more context behind what you wrote there. Yeah? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> no, I'm no, we'll, no, we'll talk to him today. I think Zach just might have taken it as in like, I'm being salty about us not spending enough time. But I thought I would, I, I tried to word it in a way so that it wouldn't seem like that. Cause I, w cause it's not, I'm not salty. The rain cloud thing is part of the other priorities too, right? There's no problem with. It's just that for the people, let's say there are some fans following guys making videos. It would be nice for them to know that Zach has other priorities. Like if I just read this, I'd be like, okay, I guess he's kind of saying that I'm not committing to this. But, but I mean, I, I'd say we aren't like in a lot of ways. I'm not saying we're not committed at all. I'm just saying that's why I said the level of commitment is that of like recreation still. Our commitment is at where it is now. We're not going to make a living off of it yeah. or anything, right? We're just, that's just, no, that's just, that, I'm not, that's not a bad or good thing. That's just the thing. That's just the truth. So Brad and I talked to my dad and then I talked to this random guy that goes to the gym. From their perspectives, it seems like we are kind of like haphazardy, like we're doing different content now, we're doing like different stuff yeah. and like what happened between Nick Nag and guys making videos people don't really know. It's just kind of like messy. So I mean, when I say something like that, that's a very good like indication for people to be like, oh, well, it's because they're not fully like whatever yet, right? It'd be different, and it's, and it's like I don't want them to think like we used to with Nig Nag, where we're like, we're gonna fucking go hard and win worlds, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we're gonna like, we're gonna win, we're worlds. Gonna win worlds, we're and, gonna win the worlds and making videos. Yeah, we're gonna, you know what I mean? We're fucking so committed and we go hard all the time, we work all the, we're always working and we're always trying and, you know, we sacrifice all the things that we, but we don't, that's the point, right? Is that, I'm trying to say that we don't. Yeah. Right? And that's that I don't have any problem with that. That's fine, right? Like you everybody do you. Like you do yourself, right? You do what you gotta do. Right? Same thing with Zach, right? Like he, like it's it's like legitimate life things that's like you can't get around. Like if fucking if my mom's sick, I don't give a fuck about guys making videos. I'm gonna go take care of my mom. It's just like I can't right? But the result of it is yeah, like we don't make a video, right? So within guys making videos, like a lot of people that watch entertainment or whatever, like they're they're not entertained by knowing that my mom is sick so I didn't make a video. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's I make a video or I didn't. Yeah. Right? But I mean that's that's kind of what I wanted to do with this post is just to be transparent about like what's going on with us. Like why we're not so like committed or like there's not too, so many videos coming out or like whatever. You know what I mean? But for you guys I'm not trying to be like it's not like a like a backstab, like I'm like, oh, I'm gonna publicly whatever you guys. It's just for the people that are watching, they're, they are kind of confused. They're like, what happened to Nig Nig? Why are you guys doing this? You guys aren't doing seeing doubles anymore? What the fuck are vlogs? What are you vlogging about? What, what is, who, yeah. what's going on? And that's why like I wanted to have more like blog posts and like reflections type stuff. Cause we even have, we have those reflections that we did with Brat and uh, Zach a couple times where we talked about this stuff. But yeah, I know we were in a weird gray area for a little bit, but now it's like, okay, we got a new YouTube channel. Everybody seems more focused and we kind of have more of a direction. The biggest thing with me though, is because I think before, and I think I've said this to you guys before, that Nick Dag, it's not fully my thing. And I didn't really know because, you know, we'd make jokes like, oh, like, I don't know, Brad was like the chairman of the board of directors of yeah, the whatever. Yeah. So I kind of felt weird to step in and be like, oh, I think we should be doing this or that. Fake titles and stuff. Just for fun, right? Just yeah. jokes. But even then, like, yeah. with this new thing, like, it, since I, like, I had to talk with everybody, you know me, like, I like to talk to everybody transparently about everything. Yeah. Um, that everybody's agreed that, like, yeah, like, it, it's a good idea for me to be, or at least we'll try it for now, to have me at the, the like, helm or whatever, trying to spearhead this stuff. It like makes me like, I feel better about working harder and doing all this stuff. For sure. Like you're, you're steering the ship in a lot of ways. And now I think everybody's more, there's a better camaraderie in terms of making these videos and stuff. Um, 
Do you think so? That's good. I think so. Oh, yeah. in, in the half year that we've been doing this, we've we've learned a whole lot about us and just like what, like how much work we can do and like the things that we want to do and the things we like. We've started here and we've gone here and we've gone back and like, you know, like you, uh, I've learned how to edit and this and that. And I've seen that certain things aren't for me and certain things aren't for you. I would say what happened with Dignag first was that we tried to be super streamlined from the get because we thought it was going to happen really fast. Mm -hmm. And then after that, after like the beginning of the framework of we were trying to be really streamlined and try to be IGN or whatever, when we started doing videos and stuff, we found that we started enjoying those more and it became less and less about being streamlined. And then to the point where I was saying that it's not going to happen that fast and we need to be more aware of like what we like doing, what we don't like doing. Mm -hmm. And now like, sure right now, like we kind of know what we want to do, but it's also like, the reason why it's so vague guys making videos is because it's it's sort of experimental like you said we're only six months in or whatever mm -hmm. we're not even a year in so yeah. we're very early in the process mm -hmm. so guys making videos is is what we know that that's the one thing we know yeah is that yeah. we want to make videos and we're guys and we're guys i don't know i'm not too sure about that one for me but but nobody's seen it i guess like nobody really delved, dove into it or whatever i guess we'll talk to zach today i don't think someone's gonna be there you're gonna see zach never again I just opened our Twitter account. I haven't ever been on Twitter. We have three followers, which is great. And then Rain Cloud, uh, one of our rivals in the industry. How many three followers? They also have three followers, and you know they have uh, they have us, of course. Oh, they have Natasha. You know Natasha. Natasha, the girl that just just posts her ass. The Push whole. me on a hashtag dick, please. I'm there. Maybe we should just push her. Should we, see. Should we push her Let's on a dick. Her. It's only you know that's how you network. So we're done? We're done with the scripts? Uh, Wait, it's over? That, that was the last... Now, yeah, that was the last one. Like, finale? That was... The we wrote the finale season. early. What about season two? <laughs> uh, we have yet to air season one. Uh, we're in talks with NBC and CBS. They're going to check out our pilot first. Um, test it there, and then we'll see how it goes. I have a good feeling about it. NBC, whenever I've pitched pilots to them before, they've always been pretty receptive. Um, Heroes is one of them. I've also done 30 Rock. Those are just to name a few, and then those are going up. I've also pitched stuff that doesn't work. Mostly CBS is just like, no, I don't want that. Um, CTV in Canada doesn't deal with any of it. They don't want me here. I don't know why. Um, but the states are a lot more easier to get into. Uh, but check us out. We'll probably be on Hulu first, streaming. Uh, then we'll move over to Amazon Prime after Hulu realizes we're shit. And then uh, we'll finish off on Netflix. So catch us on NBC next fall. Front desk coming soon. What are we doing right now? We're gonna go watch Maze Runner the movie. <laughs> oh, Dodge. Oh my god. Put the heater, the heated seats. Why am I talking like this? Is it because I'm cold? If you wanna do, we should do more consistent like live streams of stuff. Like, because I was telling Sim that if we want to live stream, since we do, since we play games anyway, mm -hmm. and you should just live stream and then just bump it like on our social media and be like, hey, we're streaming every whatever yeah. at this time, and then and then people can just tune in, so they can watch, in. so they can watch us for five hours. Knockout! Oh, that was uh, a. <laughs> Got some poutine. There's poutine. cheese on it. <laughs> there is. I'm gonna go say hi to Zach. Are you bad at me? Are you are you mad at me? I'm actually not mad. I don't know where anyone got that. I wasn't mad. How dare you tell me we're recreational sports? I haven't played a sport in my life. What did you take? Solid. Solid. Seven out of Seven. six. <laughs> that's a really high score. Yo, no, there's some part that is too sick. Where yo, wouldn't they tackle each other through the glass? Dude, dude. So I literally almost died on my way to the theater. So, so I was on uh, the fucking bridge, and a freight truck starts. Going into my lane and I'm halfway beside the freight truck. So I'm like, what the fuck? He doesn't see me. He doesn't fucking see me. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to the left. And then there's like a little Volkswagen beside me. I almost hit it. So I'm like in between two lanes. And I'm like, holy fuck. Then the Volkswagen finally stops for me and I get to like go into the lane. And he comes over and he fingers me. I almost died to see the Maze Runner. Can you imagine? <laughs> can you can you imagine telling people that's why you died? <laughs> when you're dead, you're telling them that? All right, I gotta get to work. Oh yeah. Guys, it's been a pleasure. It's been fun. It's been real. It's been real fun. Imagine hey. saying you died leaving me. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, nothing learned.